and my dad, there's, I knew there was heavy drug users and then my dad would always beat up my mom. I think so that, that her drugs was like her, her medicine, like would, would calm her stress, but our lives, she put our lives in front of hers and she didn't give up on us, so like that pushed me more not to give up anything. She, you shouldn't even give up, like what is that? Like that, if you give up, you, you certify a loser. If you try, you, you at least win in your book. making the move up from 145 uh, to this weight here at 155 and this fight starting off with fireworks. Yep, absolutely, man. Both fighters are wasting no time in firing up leather here as they go right at it from the start. Why not, boys? They don't waste any time. I tell you, why not knowing? Known for the throwdown, takedown, showdown. Again, Max letting it go. Bryson, I guess, threw with so many guys at 170. I've seen him put away guys at 155. Max is It's come up, uh, literally. Pull back up and use it to get up. And now they're firing again, striking each other. Going down at the top. win a championship at 19 years old? Uh, I'd be, I'd be real happy. I'd be uh, probably the happiest guy alive in Hawaii, probably. Probably gonna cry if I win the belt. So, I wouldn't feel complete, cause this not, this not, this not the end. I'm not trying to, this not on a hobby for me. This is trying to make this a career. So, my career is, get, yeah, like everybody else's dream, try to get that UFC 155 belt. Like this is, would be a big step in the right direction. He's got the skills to take on the wily, crafty veteran. Sarmiento on a five-match win streak, looking to defend his title for the first time. Nice, that he heard him with that knee. Oh, up again. Oh, oh, big knee! That hurts Sarmiento. Big knee to the jaw as Holloway follows up with an uppercut. Trying to hit him with the elbow. Russell, the 155 world title belt away from Harris Sarmiento. And there is a new champion here at X1. And his name is Little Evil Max Holloway. I'm going to be a UFC fighter. I started telling everybody uh, my senior year, and, uh, and then we got there. We got it. it was a, I was a short notice fight, you know? Somebody fell out, and um, it was a big, it, the guy's name was pretty big. His name was Dustin Poirier. He was, I didn't know. I think at the time I fought him, I think he was like number five or something in the world, number six in the world. I didn't care who he was, you know, I was a, I was a young buck. And uh, we, was a, we was a headliner for the, uh, for the prelims. When we was in the back, I remember watching and just seeing and just being like, oh man, like not that much people. So I was thinking like, okay, this is like another fight for me, you know, not too much people in the car would be right, we'd be fine. Nope, everybody shows up right before the pay-per-view card. So we walk out, I remember uh, uh, Bruce Buffer, you know, watching the fights, you know, you just, you imagine this guy, you know, you daydream of this guy, you dream of this guy saying your name. I remember he butchered Why Not Hawaii by, and like, he said Why Not There or something, which was like, oh my gosh. That kind of kept me standing, but when he was saying my name, yeah, I actually felt weak in the knees. I thought I was going to faint. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I was telling my back. You're on national TV, bro. You can't be fainting on TV right now. We're like, get, get it together, you know, so. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of Lafayette, Louisiana, Dustin the Diamond Warrior! The beautiful Ariane. Shondella Brittany, great to be with you. UFC prelims on FX, Dustin the Diamond Boyer against 20-year-old Max Holloway. Holloway in the black trunks, blue trunks for Boyer, the southpaw. Boyer with a leg kick early. 4-0 as a professional is Max Holloway, a very scrappy Hawaiian. Dustin Poirier was originally scheduled to fight Eric Koch. 
then Lamas, and now he gets Holloway, and he's off to a good start against the Hawaiian. I'll tell you what, the first views that we're getting here of Max Holloway, I like his technique. I like the way he holds his hands. His movement is excellent. Looks like a very seasoned striker. Well, some have said he resembles Anthony Pettis, who was a teammate of Eric Coates. In fact, Jeremy Stevens brought Max Holloway to San Diego from Hawaii to help him prepare for his fight against Anthony Showtime Pettis. So we've got a young Anthony Pettis, man, Max Holloway. Dustin Poirier could be three rounds of this back and forth because Poirier has really shown to be one of the most rapidly rising stars at one point. Yeah, he is really taking it to Poirier. Look at this Poirier looking for a takedown. Well, and this is what happened when Jason Young started to have some success on the feet against Poirier. Poirier took him down, used his wrestling, and got the decision. What great takedown defense here by Holloway. I really liked how he stuffed that first attempt by Poirier. Using a very good use of, oh, boy, you got him there. And tried to scoot out the back door. Almost did. But he's going to give up that arm. That arm that I was talking about earlier. Yep, he's got it. That's it. This is trouble. Trying to finish this fight right here is Poirier. He needs to get that right leg across the face. Turns it into a triangle. He had the, the, the issue there, Mike, was his right leg was across the back of the head instead of the front. Now he's got it. Mounted, triangle, arm bar at the same time. He's going to break his arm. It is all Brilliant. I ended up losing. I ended up losing and uh, I ended up getting tapped out in the first round. It was a turning point for me and um, it was great, you know. It, uh, a loss is only a loss if uh, if you don't learn and I learned. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a submission from a triangle arm bar, Dustin the Diamond Warrior. The nickname before was Little Hoop, Dance Pulver. He was one of my favorite fighters at the time. And uh, I wanted a nickname because of him. So I had that nickname for a while. And then my first four pro MMA fights, I was known as Little Evil. I remember after one of these fights in Hawaii, I was on Maui and a uh, fan, like that's a random guy. I don't know who it was. He just walked up to me, hey, can I talk to you real quick? I was like, yeah. He's like, I don't get it. I was like, what don't you get? He's like, you fight for God's army, right? That was the team I fight for at the time. And I was like, yeah. He's like, oh, okay, you believe in God and stuff, right? I was like, yeah, I go to church and whatever and this and that. And he's like, Yo, why is your name Lil Evil? And he left. And I was like, what the hell? And then I remember going, I, I won that fight. I, I went training like the next day and I was talking to my coach and his, my coach at the time, my old coach, and I, was, I just told him, bro, I don't I I told him, bro, I can't be little evil fighting out of God's army. It makes no sense. Like, it was, just, uh, it was just stewing with me for a long time, you know, and like staying with me. And he was like, nah, bro, no, this and that, bro, little evil, da, da. I gave you the nickname because it is, Jens and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, but it just don't add up. And he was like, you know what? I'll think about it. One week went, went later, I came back training. I remember walking in, I'm like, what? Where, where is, uh, you got my name yet? He's like, no, oh, I can't name you. The, f the only word that keeps popping on my mind is bless. And I was like, I was like, I take it. He's like, you take what? I was like, I take the name bless. And he's like, well, I guess it's a nickname now. Holloway controlling the center of the octagon, Mike. Nice knee to the body by Holloway. Very nicely done. That might have hurt Lawrence. That was a that was a very clean strike to the body. Holloway having a very good round. To the Good body. Oh, oh, he hurt him with that body Rocked shot. Him with the body shots. Looking to finish it late here. It's and it's all it's over. It. Max wow. Holloway finishes Justin wow. Lawrence. That is a huge feather in this young man's cap. Max West Holloway. Do you know, there's two things I really like to do, and that's whoop ass and look good. And I'm doing one of them right now on Saturday night. I'm going to do the other. <laughs> I first heard about Connor from the internet, which is where you hear about everything, right? Uh, there's some wild, brash dude out of Ireland that was kicking people's asses and doing it in spectacular fashion, and he's got that thing, you know, whatever it is. He's got talent, obviously, he's got speed, excellent striking technique, excellent wrestling and jiu-jitsu, but he's also got that thing. It's, it's hard to figure out what that thing is, but you know when people have it. It'll be interesting to see how Holloway responds to the pressure fighter, and it's McGregor landing early. 
who is a brilliant, brilliant Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner, but started off as a karate stylist. Oh, look at that front leg hook kick. Where do you see that? Karate style stance. It's very unpredictable, along with a background in amateur boxing. He was a national amateur boxing champion. And Connor's two losses have come by submission. Look at this wild stuff. Jumping, switch kick. It is hard to simulate this type of pressure in training, too. Yeah, that jumping switch kick is very neat. Oh. High kick. Beautiful uppercut. Good right hand over the top by Max. Max needs to get Connor's respect. You know, you can call it three to one, but it's it's even more significant than that because it's the only real hard strikes are being landed by Connor. Right. So although Max has landed a few shots here and there, they've been glancing blows. McGregor turns the corner and takes him down again. Very nice. With a dominant performance here tonight in Boston against Max Holloway. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, the notorious Connor McGregor. Like a like a wise man once said, it is what it was. It is what it was, man. And uh, you get back up on the horse, you get you keep riding. The beautiful barrage of punches followed by a knee. Nice job following up that combination with that power knee to the body. Choke in trouble once again. Nice wizard and takedown defense by Max Holloway, and he is pouring it on the youngster now. He smells oh, beautiful spinning back kick to the body. How is Choke still standing? This is exactly where he doesn't want to be. A beautiful combination to body shot by Max Holloway. Max Holloway! With the TKO victory. The grind as all those wrestlers do in Sacramento. Oh, nice shot, shot by Holloway. Max a couple of times in that position scoring points. Good hard hit shots by Holloway. Oh, so Philly is in trouble. Philly is in trouble. And the guillotine again. Trying to crank on it. He did it. It's a of Clay Collard and Max Holloway handling this very unique challenge largely with flying colors. Man, reminiscent of a vintage Chris Lieben here. Exhausted, walking forward and just trying to smash his opponent. Questionable knee there. Appeared to hit to the body or the shoulder, not the head. He relinquishes the back. Big right hands there by Max Holloway. Bergliot is watching this closely right now. This could be it right here. He's telling Collard to defend himself and that's it. Another third round finish for Max Holloway. Oh. Corsani goes down. Big sorry here from Holloway. And Corsani can get his head clear and pull back. He's got a clinch. He's got to tie him up. Close that distance. Beautiful good strikes in the process. But Holloway now creates a frame. Oh, shoots on him. He's down again. Again, he's out. Oh, Max my goodness. Holloway extends his winning streak in wow. emphatic fashion. Sweden. Pinpoint striker, John. Oh my goodness. I think I mentioned the word sniper you did. in his walkout. That is a sniper. Trying to continue his trek up the rankings. And finishing strong in this one. Max Holloway pulling out all the stuff down the stretch. And another one. Beautiful. Oh! Max Holloway's got cut slots in her. He's looking for a guillotine. 90 seconds left. He's going to finish a guillotine. He's grimacing, but he's burying it. Trying to get he got it. He got it. Another punch there. Something he's definitely been working on. And there you'll see. That's how confident he's grounding. Rips you up and pulls you into his guard. And very intelligent by Max Holloway. Don't play jujitsu with this kid. Yeah, not going to mess around on him. Oh, if this. Oh, no. Oh, looks like an injury to the shoulder of Charles Oliver. Managing to avoid combinations better, getting off his own kicks. But these, yeah. this is where Max really getting starts swarms. to, yeah, really starts to separate the two of them. 
Holloway's still looking for the finish, Joe. 35 seconds to try oh. to change things like Brian Ortega did earlier. Nice spinning elbow. Holloway had Lamas in trouble. Multiple occasions. Wow. And it looks like they're going to swing to the very end. And he wants to kill it. Wow. It's very rare. What a finish. So you see an agreement like that. When they yep. point at the ground and decide to stand in front of each other and bang out the last 10 seconds like that. And that wasn't a bluff either. I mean, you're talking about a guy who relies on movement and skill and put his finger pointed at the ground and then kept his word and stayed right there and banged it out at the very end. Wow. The most highly anticipated featherweight fight of all time. Connor looks extremely loose. And Aldo looks like he's feeling the pressure of this moment. Green trunks for the Southpaw, the notorious Conor McGregor. Black trunks for the champion, Jose Aldo Jr. Conor relaxed and smiling. Oh! He slapped him! Conor McGregor in the new UFC featherweight champion of the world! Oh! Unbelievable! Oh my God! Unbelievable! The first punch he threw! Ladies and gentlemen, referee John McCarthy's called a stop to this contest at 13 seconds of the very first round. He played the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, the notorious Connor. As we get older, we gain more and more responsibility, or Kuliana. Max Holloway is no exception. You know, but now I have a family, I have a son, I have a wife, and uh, it, it's, it's super, it's super like, just yes. Yeah, baby. Me and my wife got married a month after he got born. I got to buy cars, you know, I got to buy car insurance for cars, you know. We rent out a place, so we got to pay rent. The responsibility Max feels towards his wife and son stems from the neglect he faced as a child. My mom was a crazy ice user, you know. Thank God she's clean now, but she was. My dad just kind of left, you know, and, and I, I didn't ever want to be like that. And that was a fire under me for a long time. So I just wanted to show him, you know, what a family in my eyes, you're supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, nice thanks, meeting you. No, thank, thank you, you man. Yeah. Thank you. Not only is he responsible for a household, but also a reputation. Everybody is like, you're from Wayna, you're going to be a loser. Heavy drug users, nothing but punks, people who want to fight all the time, people who don't have education, people who's not, who's not smart, people who's going to only end up doing low income jobs, you know? You just, you cannot feed into the negativity. Max fights this negativity through pursuing his profession in the Ultimate Fighting Championship, otherwise known as the UFC. I signed my contract when I was 19 years old. All I can do is train hard and go out there and fight night, just hope everything goes my way and come out the victor. But the most important win to him hits closer to home. I don't spend time with them, you know, and that's for like eight, six weeks at a time, you know. Wow. Sit, go, run, run back. So when my hand get raised and you know, when I see my paycheck and, and when I finally get to get home and just relax, you know, it's, it's the greatest feeling in the world. His responsibility towards his family and community gives Max Holloway the motivation to become a better fighter and father. This is Diamond Tuisano from Wyanite High School for Ikino. This is an early shot by Frankie Edgar. There's a right uppercut by Edgar. And there's a glancing one-two. There's a nice left hook by Aldo. He landed that punch many times in this fight. There's a right hand by Aldo and slides away from the counters. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and now, the UFC interim featherweight champion of the world, Jose Aldo Jr.
We have ourselves the Brazilian champion again. And there's the notorious one. To break. support out here for me, they make me feel like they own, man. It's gonna be a fight at night, it could be a fight at the century. Come December 10th, there's this button on your boat, it's called buy. You click buy the pay-per-view and uh, watch history in the making. Okay. Take my nine last fights, take his nine last fights. Where does he beat me? I mean, uh, he's not gonna be able to wrestle me and hold me down. He's not gonna out-submit me, out jiu me. I've been submitted higher black level black belts. Where does he beat me? Holloway versus Anthony Pettis for the interim featherweight title. How excited are you for dude, this one? Dude, seriously. It's just such a great fight. You know, Anthony was the lightweight champion of the world. Max Holloway was a kid coming up, fighting Conor McGregor. Nine fights later, he's beating everybody. Wait. Interim title on the line. Holloway wins, he brings the belt home. Pettis wins, he does not. That's due to missing no spin. spin. The spinning back kick, three six. In the countdown show, kick. there was an edge, Joe, to Holloway. A couple of times to the body. Caught him with the right hand there in that exchange. The Holloway is moving forward. He's, he's showing a lot of his body. Back leg set. kick there by Holloway. Oh, good oh, left yeah. hook. Good left hook by Holloway. I got Pettis' attention for sure. Oh, there's another counter. Oh, tag shot. And up we go. Tried to go over the top with that cartwheel kick. Good punches to the body by Holloway. Whenever Pettis gets close, Holloway's going to that. Saw a lot of southpaw in his fight against Ricardo Lamas. Good right hand there by Holloway. Good shot by Pettis. Beautiful left hand there. Leg heavy by Pettis. Well, great job of moving, throwing those shots. Another, another hard shot to the body. Yep. Pettis is in trouble. Holloway pouring it on. Holloway looking to He's finish it. That's it. It's all over. Wow. We're backstage here at UFC 206. I'm joined by Max Holloway. And he's got a new toy here. Max, how's it feel? Uh, it feels great, man. It feels great. Uh, all your hard work, all your sacrifice. You know, coming to a moment like this. Uh, like I said earlier in the week, I've been working for this moment for 17 and a half uh, uh, since I was 17 and a half. So uh, to be here, be talking to you, and uh, you know, having this go. But I, I just want to go home, man. I just want to go home and uh, celebrate. You know. I know that you want to unify this belt. That would mean a fight with Jose Aldo, somebody that you have been looking to fight for a long time. Why Brooklyn? Uh, you know, it's, why not? You know, we see what happens, though. We see what happens. You know, uh, um, you know. Hashtag Where's Jose Waldo? Let me know when you guys find him. And uh, you know, I, I'm saying Brooklyn, but we see what happens. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to say Brooklyn, and I got to give up another holiday, and then that guy get hurt or whatever. So we see what happens. You know, my son's birthday is in January. I don't want to miss Christmas and. Uh, we see what happens. We see we see what what it takes, and uh, I don't want this guy to rob me of my stuff, and I don't get to fight on February 11th. So uh, we see we see the way it goes down. All right, we're looking forward to it. Look out for a booking very soon. I'm sure the UFC will yeah. have an announcement. And hashtag Where's Jose Waldo? And let me know. Let me know. Congratulations, Max! An incredible performance tonight. Thank you. Thanks.